When identifying the main category the problems in the 1920s would fit into, I chose wealth, because people didn't care what they were hurting, much less who, and everybody had a sense of greed in the 1920s. They wanted to keep making money. I decided to split them into a few main categories. The first one I had was industry, agriculture, social problems, and the stock market. First off was industry. Industry wasn't so roaring in the 1930s. As an average New York bricklayer might make $320 a month, coal miners would only make $103 a month. And in response to American import tariffs on their products, many countries put custom duties on American goods, which reduced American exports. Second one was agriculture. During the 1920s, people were encouraged to grow as much food as they could. Eventually, they grew more than they could sell, and prices dropped, leaving farmers in poverty. The average pay a farmer could get in the 1930s was $49 a month. The third problem I found was the social problems. People who were wealthy in America were extremely rich, but only 5% of the American population shared a third of the wealth, while 42% were living below the poverty line. Most of the stock values had merely tracked the rise in dividend payments. Dividend payments are defined as cash owed by a company to its stockholders. The companies that were enjoying these prosperous years had tracked the rise of dividend payments and were expected to continue to do so. Once again, the main theme I chose was wealth, because people got greedy and didn't care what they were hurting.